Alright, so hello everybody and welcome back to Star Drive. <coughs> Excuse me. So last time we had, uh, well we had gone to war, we had done a lot of things, conquered some people, and we've, uh, we went to war with the uh, yellow people up here, and the, um, the Optiris, which are the grey people I believe, so these two factions. But um, in addition, <coughs> oh, I should really get some water right now, uh, we formed a federation with the uh, the Shogunate people over here, so they're in a federation with us, and what that means is that we have essentially taken control of their um, army here, we've taken control of their entire population right here really. So uh, the problem that kind of puts us in is that right now we're kind of losing a lot of money simply because the uh, we need to repub we need to rebalance our budget. But in addition, the uh, the the Corsine Collective, what I think these yellow people are, they they have their main fleet here, and that's a uh, well that's a bit of a problem. I mean the uh, Optiris is also at war with them, and they have their fleet here as well. But this brawl right here. Is uh, just going. I know that the uh, Altair ships are a little hard to see, but these these people are probably going to battle it out for now. But the uh, Kadava Shogunate has a lot of uh, planets here that we just have to kind of uh, sacrifice to keep the rest of their empire. <coughs> so I'm gonna I'm going to let the game progress by a little bit. But first and foremost, we need to do something to uh, kind of deal with the deficiencies inside their systems, right? Because what's kind of happening right now is that the uh, the Shogunate had, doesn't really have enough um, money inside their systems to fully fund their endeavors, and right now we need to be uh, working on some, some way to uh, get them that money. Like first and foremost, I needed to turn all of the uh, all of their planets off of their industrial governor mode because that industrial governor makes them spend a absolute crap ton of money for pretty much no reason. So we need to turn these off immediately. And it looks like they have quite a few of these like really bad colonies. And we need to do something about that, right? Let's see what else they have. Chain 1, Chain 3. Don't need that, don't need that. They don't need that. Yeah, they have a lot of worlds. Worlds that have quite a lot of miscellaneous crap that we just don't need them to, uh, to have. First and foremost, they have this core world, which needs to be producing a little bit of excess of food to export, store their labor, and then we need more um, money from them, so we're, they're going to produce a lot more labor. Here, the exact same thing. For some reason, the AI decided that it'd be better to budget all of the uh, the stuff for research. Well, we're not going to be doing that. We're just going to be uh, building a lot of production because production equals food. So how does that look for our budget? They are We're still down quite a bit of money, so we still need to do something to balance the books here. <coughs> And what we need to do is go to these planets and scrap some of the stuff. Like the colony shield, I don't want that. That gives you a protective little uh, thing on top of the planet, but it does cost quite a little bit of resources. And for every planet that does have one of those, it, it costs us a little more and a little more. And eventually that really just kind of... Uh, that really gets to people on these planets, so I just want to 
really uh, control what the AI spends because right now I feel like the AI doesn't really spend it or save enough money. Yeah, for this planet we don't need this colony shielding. What else don't we need? I think one of the problems is that they have so many of these small colonies that just don't do uh, anything really. Yeah, like this one. This one's costing us quite a bit because it has this rover bay, which it doesn't need. It has this research lab. It has the shielding that doesn't need. I'll keep the research labs going simply because that's always helpful. But right now we just have to kind of sort out the um, the two different empires' expenses because right now we're losing a little too much money and we're losing it a little too fast. Alright, that should be good. That should control things for now. But we what we need to do is that as soon as we finish Battleship Technology, we need to get the centralized banking tech which will give us another building, another tower building, kind of like the blue one that generates more tax. Right now we have reserves of cash, we have more than enough reserves of cash, but I don't want them to be dwindling just um, so soon. As soon as we take down, take back um, Reverend, everything should be a little better. What are they doing now? This planet is fully armed, so I don't think they'll be invading here. Oh wow, we have a lot of ships now, because we inherited that other race's uh, designs. What, out of curiosity, what exactly are we spending so much on? Building maintenance is quite high. Ship maintenance... yeah, ship maintenance is the main thing. Okay, these marines need to retake this planet. And we need to divert some ships over here. Is there, is there anything more inside the solar fleet that we can divert? Okay, this system's back to ours. That's good. It looks like um, <coughs> they really enjoy taking, trying to take this place, so we'll build some more marines here. We'll keep that up. Tend to AI governor off. I actually hate that thing. Put more spending into production, and then that should be good. Okay, so, looks like there's another red faction inside the game over here. That might be a problem uh, in terms of identifying everything. Yeah, but I remember I had a core fleet here that was here just for bombardment. And they will just be moving throughout the Optera space and just really neutering them is uh, what I kind of want to do.
Oh god, why are we uh Why are we losing so much food here? Yeah, do they have stores to uh keep up with the loss? Yes they do. Okay, so that should make that better. Alright, so now we have that banking technology. I'm gonna start building titans once again. But with that banking tech, what I can do is that I can really amp up the production of coins, of money, in our in our planets, right? So I, I go to the... I sort by population and I just build the skyscrapers. Um, so right now this this plant, yeah, if you build two of these towers it essentially doubles the production of money onto one of these uh, planets. So as soon as we have this technology or this structure on all of our uh, planets, I think it'll pretty much just solve our our money problem. Okay, so there we go. Uh, we brought the budget deficit down to 22.5 space bucks per per day, really, return. So that's not that bad. That's actually pretty good. In the meantime, this fleet should be moving to Bombard. Does this place apparently have... Yeah, this place is uh, apparently inhabited. But we can't get to it. Oh well. Jump to the other one. So this is good. Things are progressing nicely now. The budget's actually getting smaller and smaller. Or the deficit is. Alright, so they've just taken down another planet, and it looks like they're all they're uh, they're starting to run out of ammunition. So I'm going to order the fleet to come back here to the these to the uh, the two deep space armories, and these armories uh, will essentially resupply our ships. Yeah, see, so now it sends out the uh, the little frigate things that resupply ships, and then those will just go. And then those will just fully resupply the bigger ships, but um, I think the frigates, where the fighter ships, don't necessarily get reinforcements. Or supplies. Still need to balance the books over here. We we're still spending too much, and we have a lot of colonies left over by the uh, the other people who are just starving. We don't need these shields at all. No. Don't need these shields whatsoever. Okay, we need to go in here and figure out which planets actually export food and actually balance everything. So these two planets look like they're fine. This planet is alright. Do they export food here? Yeah, they do. Do 
they have a warehouse? Yes, they do. Yeah, I know. I, I just think, um, I just sent that guy into space, but it doesn't really matter. Right now, we need to check which places have a warehouse and which place doesn't, because um, you you really do need that warehouse for these planets to be uh, a little self-sustaining, right? So that's kind of why I'm getting those. Okay, over here, what do we need? Don't really need that spaceport. Don't need that rover bay. That's pretty much it. So now it looks like we need a bigger uh, shipping, we need a bigger merchant fleet for this to be effective, for our uh, empire here to be effective. Let's see what we can do. Our bombardment fleet is resupplying. Um, let's see if the Opterus or the Corazine Collective have any good worlds that we can kind of subjugate and, uh, well, pretty much just turn into a money-making machine, right? Yeah, they're getting pretty beat up inside the north as well. You have Green Fleet over here, who's doing the exact same thing as us. starting to run a little low on funding, so I'm going to jack up the tax by, let's say, 5%, and that'll put us in the green for now. So that is good. Ah, there's one good planet right here. We're going to send a fleet to Wisdom, and we're going to colonize Wisdom, which is a decent planet. We're gonna colonize it anyways, despite the Those ships over there inside the inside Corsair space are a little tough, so we're gonna pull back our fleet. We need some of the bigger ships to uh, go over there and take care of them. Where is our main? Okay, this this will have to do. These ships are gonna go over here and take over uh, Wisdom for us. In the meantime, the big fleet over here is going to come over here and occupy Ferris. No. Yeah, they're gonna come over here and take down those two ships. It's a little excessive, but okay. But it, oh well. I have a feeling these bigger ships are more or less meant to be fighting like other cruisers and frigates. Because right now what they seem to be doing is that they they seem to be launching a lot of these like missile things and they're not exactly all that great against our fighters because our fighters can kinda avoid them. Do we have any of the uh, the bigger ships coming through? Yeah, there's a few of them. Okay. need to deal with wisdom, so that fleet should be going over there right now. Uh, we're making money now and we're developing technology at a really fast pace. The only thing that I can think of right now being like super beneficial is if we build a few more trade ships so then we can have uh, better projection to our colonies, better influence to all of these uh, like the shogun colonies that are just kind of odd worlds that don't necessarily produce all that much. Because I have a feeling the AI just colonized those worlds simply because, well, just forward.
let's see what we can do. So the Obtiris Doom Fleet is over here. This is actually their capital, uh, this planet right here. I'm gonna check out this world and see, um, see what it is. Fertility 1.5, Richness 2. It's a decent planet too. Uh, because we do need more Terran worlds with good population, I have a feeling that uh, a subjugation attempt is uh, in order here. It looks like somebody's trying to colonize the solar system. Build more space marines. We're just going to take an entire uh, swath of space marines and just hurl them at their capital. So yeah, let's commence an orbital bombardment on there and then uh, follow that up with a group of uh, space marines. I'm pretty sure you can build more ground units than just space marines and the default one, but um, quite honestly, I actually don't know where that comes from. I think it's it comes from like uh, uh no, not that. No. Nope. Physics, space weapons. No, it has to be ground weapons or something like that. It's another tab somewhere around here. I don't know how to get it, but I think it's inside the sixth tab or the seventh tab in the game. That it, it's called like secrets or something, but uh, I, I don't know how to unlock it. I think you had to uh, find like super secret alien technology, and then you can do stuff like that see how the colonization of uh, wisdom is going. Well, the universe is getting very very crowded now. We have enemies and allies everywhere. These ships should be landing over here. Yeah, that's a little more effective. We can actually get through the uh, big cruiser shields now. But that thing has point defense systems, so it's taking our missiles out. Oh, that's gonna finish it right off. Nice. Are they... oh wow, that's their main fleet right here. And then the uh, core fleet over here made out of three ships, a scout, a frigate, and a, a, and a single soldier is waiting to meet them. So uh, we might have to bail out the, um, the green people over here because they look... oh no, they have a sizable fleet over here. Uh, they're just not using it. Still need to sort out that budget issue though. I, I want to build trade ships right now, but they they cost a certain amount of money and it's a little prohibitive, right? Uh, because we, we had to pay for the expenses of all of these colonies. Some of them are losing us like two the bucks. Uh, is this what I think it is? No military outpost. I thought that was another shield. Yeah, because some of them have those uh, shield things, right? Those really put down the cost. And I really don't want to just kind of deal with like the economic part of this game for now because like we're number one in everything, and the real the only real reason we're number one in everything right now is because we're number one in e economic strength. Speaking of which, uh, we should be able to use these agents now. Forgot about this. 
Um, with agents, you can do quite a lot of things, but right now I'm just going to train them for defense. I mean, it, it stops people from robbing you of money. Yep, we got that colony now. They can't really do much about it, though. These ships should be fighting on them on their own, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now they're gonna rip that place apart and take it over for us. What just happened? Our agent training has completed. We have a few top agents and we have a few not so not so good agents. Um, what should we do? Did, did they start their few huge fleet battle yet? No, they didn't. Okay. How are they doing over here? There's a small Alcatiris fleet holding over there. So what I think I'll do is I'll get the majority of... Yeah, I'll just get our fleet to go straight for them. Like that. I'll bounce my troops here, take out what defenses they have at their capital, drop the sp space marines off as soon as the shields get uh, killed by our our ships, by our orbital bombardment frigates, and then afterwards I'll move the main fleet to intercept the doom fleet they have over there. Um, I'm gonna train our agents one more time before they actually start any real espionage. Oh, these space marines can also board ships, but we don't want them to do that, so we're actually going to put them over here. Oh uh, yeah, I accidentally boarded one of their ships. It's kind of useful, but in general it's not really worth the cost, although I think if you do it right, you can... Oh, they're going out to the space marines. I think you can, you know, take control of their... Um, of their designs, right, which might be a little helpful to just capture one or two ships and then just to kind of study them. These frigates are actually supposed to be bombarding the planet, so we will bring them over here. They really like to go after the space marines for some reason, but okay. Yeah, our main ships are over here. They're a little slower with their uh, FDL drives. Oh wait, maybe the yeah, maybe we need to change the designs for those um, things right now. We need to change the the Hawk Corvette. Or no, the Hunter H Corvette, so that they have a better engine. Is what I meant to say. Here, what should we do? Because it only has a limited amount of engine slots, and I want them to have greater warp perform. Yeah, we're, I'll just do that, I guess. Get a warp engine onto these ones. Like, I don't mind uh, mind it if they are a little more expensive, it's just that I kinda want these to be able to warp efficient, like, a uh, warp and do things efficiently, so I think I'll remove the medium engine, which, yeah, it should have warp efficiency. I guess it's just really slow for the, for the, uh, size of the ship, right? Because these smaller ships, they, they are naturally agile, but, yeah, I think that'll, that'll be better. Still gonna take us some time though. It's not that big of a deal. They have some marines here that can be dealt with. No, those are scouts. These are the space marines, they should be stings too.
Okay, there we go. They're starting to pummel the planet. They're gonna keep the shields down and hopefully destroy enough of the planet's infrastructure to allow our marines to take it over fairly easily. Yeah, that seems pretty good. So now the marines land. And now the planet is ours. Perfect. Yeah, the Optirus is getting ready to fight us there. I'm going to get all of these, like, uh, hunter, ancient hunter variants to go over there. In the meantime, do we have any more um, ships ready at the ready? Resupply shuttles. And we have completed Titan research, which is good. So I'm going to build fighter theory, so then we can get uh, we can build a few carriers. That's also very useful. Now where is the bulk of our fleet? We have a few ships here, and I think we have a few ships here. Yeah. Get the colonial levy to come over here and defend them. Put down the works on Optirus. And that should be it. They should be fine there. In the meantime, I hope our allies actually help us out by um, trying to take down this place. They have quite a few big ships there. Have a nice formation and stuff too. Fighter theory unlocked. Good. Then it's ace training, which will give us uh, experience, and then it's a uh, raider battle, raider bay, which will launch corvette vessels as well as uh, fighters, so we can have a fully functioning like mothership, pretty much, which will be nice. And then after that, what should I do? There's a lot of these like uh, laser beam weapon things right here, like photon cannons and all of that, but usually I prefer going like magnetic artillery and stuff like that. I, I really don't like laser beams. Here, yeah, I'll put it on a 4x speed so then we can uh, hopefully get through this part uh, a little faster. Go to Diplomacy, now we have some top agents, we're going to send them to uh, Optirus. Let's see what we can do, send an agent to Tuyen. Assassinate an enemy agent, robbery, incite rebels. Um, let's get our agents to incite rebels onto their planets, do something like that, because we have the money for it, I mean, and our agents are, or rather, should be pretty good. We have one fleet assembled here. We have a few ragtag ships assembled there. Not so much of a, not so much as a fleet. Oh well. Oh. Their fleet has decided to meet us. Let's see what's happening. Yeah, those ships won't last by themselves without the um, without numbers. Those ships are gonna go down rather fast. Let's see where the main fleet is. Hopefully, they can get there before the battle is over. Yeah, that's gonna be a stretch. It 
it landed on one of our planets, should be fine. We have plenty of, uh, oh god, they have an entire little swarm over there. Yeah, they can't have that fleet around here, no. I think what I'll do is jack up the taxes to 36%, give us a nice um, extra bit of leeway space, and then we can build some more um, corvettes to send to the front lines. Yeah, we can do something like that, so that'll increase our um, fighting capacity by a little bit. Second thing is that once this research is done, we'll be able to get those uh, carriers, like I said. And this hyperspace flux should be over by now. Yeah, there we go. How's the diplomacy thing looking? They are almost done inciting rebels. Okay. Yeah, there's not much really going on right now. I mean, we're just moving troops, right? So, uh, what just happened after uh, all of these people have incited a rebellion, except for one. One guy didn't, wasn't able to incite one, but that that should be fine. Yeah. So they've done that. This fleet is going to wait here. I want to check on their planets and see where exactly we incited rebellion. It's apparently fighting there. Optirius is getting beat back on all fronts. They have one small colony over here. I think it's on this planet? No. Oh well. There we go, now the fleet is here. So that's just absolutely going to demolish the enemies, the Optirus fleet for now. And I don't think they have any more ships after that, I think they're um... Yeah, I have a feeling that's pretty much it for uh, for them, right? So what I'll do at that point is grab the what little orbital bombardment ships we have left, and then we're just gonna drive them right here, and we're just gonna lay the smack down on their uh, planet. So I think I'll leave it off here, and inside the next episode we build the uh, capital ship. Uh, as always, be sure to like and subscribe and comment.